Here's the bottom halves to one of my Athern SW7 models. Um, as most of you know, if you ever had these models, they don't come painted. The, um, the bottom of the unit is all the white casted metal. <clears throat> I believe it's white metal. And the way it's set up, the um, you can see where the coupler sets in. It's almost like one of the uh, older Ather rolling stocks where the, uh, the coupler pocket is part of the frame and it's just got the metal clip on there. Well, unless you paint it or do something to isolate it, the, uh, the coupler becomes electrified and therefore if you don't have the polarity right, in other words running um, elephant style, you have a big problem because you'll short it out and you'll melt the coupler. So, as I mentioned in the other video, what I do is paint it and that usually solves the problem. If it doesn't, then you can always put a plastic KD coupler on it. And that will definitely solve the problem. But the plastic KDs are not quite as rigid as, for instance, the number 5 metal ones. Also, one other thing I would like to mention, or actually two, one is if you're like me and you don't have DCC yet, um, and you don't want to solder this connector up here, you can take a little scotch bright or a Bright Boy and clean it up and clean the connection and that will make it run better. And another thing is you can clean the armature on the motor. And I'm going to zoom right in on that. That right there is the armature. There's two brushes. The one on the top and the one on the bottom. And it, what happens is, over time, the, uh, the brushes will tend to pit up that armature and you'll get dead spots in it. Well, a real cheap and easy way to fix that is to take one of your trusty Bright Boys. As you can see, this one's a bit seasoned. It's been around. But not quite as seasoned as this one here that's cleaned quite a few armatures over the years. Look at how the corners are all rounded out. You can just take it on the track like it is right now. Let me see if I can set the camera up and try to get in there and not block it so you can see what I'm doing. You hold the locomotive, turn the power on to full preferably, and you just take this and you go right in there on the armature until you get it nice and shiny. And that will help alleviate any dead spots that you might have on the armature. It'll make it run smoother and better. You'll be able to run it slower. So if you've got an older Athern unit that does not run well slow, chances are, look at that thing shine. Chances are if you do that, it will make it perfect. And I usually reverse the direction too, just in case there's a a spot where it hangs up or something or whatever. Just to make it nice. Just like that, you can see that shine. And then I usually take the air compressor and blow out any remaining uh, um, metal shavings that you tend to get. You don't really want to do that with sandpaper because you don't want to uh, grind, your, grind your armature down too much. You just want to polish it. So your best bet, like I say, is just to do it with a bright boy. And you don't want to do it too much because Again, if you wear it down, you'll be in trouble. The next thing I do to also make it run a little better is I take a little ATF, automatic transmission fluid, and I just lube right on the edge here by the flywheel. Of course, I can't really see what I'm doing because I'm trying to show you guys what I do. And in here and in this spot right here, there it goes, I can see it now. 
don't want a lot, just a little bit, and you want to run it with the shell off just in case it spatters a little bit, which it will do, and you can clean up your mess and it's not inside the uh, the shell. But anyway, in this particular case, Athern has not re-released the SW7, and I don't know if they ever will, which is why I'm taking the time and the effort to fix these up. So at least I have a pair of them. Um, whereas the older SW1500s I have, Athern's replaced them with the new ones, which are correct, and they're a whole lot better, so I'll probably retire the old ones. I may strip them for parts I haven't decided at this point in time yet. But anyway, just another pointer for you. And hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to rate and comment. Thanks.